Hello, Quacky community. Today, I'm with three amazing Year 12 students. Why are they amazing? Because they have finished their AE. It's one of those milestone moments in a, in a IB journey. What I love to hear from our current Year 12s is actually what you chose to do. Taylor, yours, you know, can you just... Yeah, well, I was doing a film on the um, the Godfather series on okay. like, how good and evil is constructed within characters and like the duality and like all the elements that sort of come together to like create this character. So, so, um, so why does that interest you? What well, was I just love the it? Godfather movies. Okay, and just, so it started really, off with a passion and yeah. love of... Yeah, I just love the, like, it's just a timeless movie that's been around for so long. And, Mr. Carrozza was Mr. Carrozza, yep. like pivotal in just bringing it all together because I have like ideas but he kind of has to lay them out for me. Yasmin, what was yours? What did you... Um, so I did a psychology EE and my topic was um, about the effect of media, specifically video games and television okay. on um, social behaviour. So right. both pro-social and anti-social behaviour. We hear in the in the news and the latest research about how video games are destroying children's brains and we need to watch screen time and that sort of thing. So I wanted to look at the real evidence behind that. I know okay. that there's um, a lot of um, negativity around the exposure to violent media, but I wanted to see whether that um, still reigns true for positive mm. um, behavior as well. So I essentially learned that while watching violent media could um, lead you to behave aggressively, watching educational and positive media could lead you to behave in a positive way. So originally I wasn't really sure what book I wanted to do, it wasn't like an immediate thing, so I was reading all these, you know, Picnic at Hanging Rock and Boys Toilers University and all these other yeah, services. Yeah, so you had a, a pretty a big vast yeah, range. Yeah, but then I read Boys Toilers Universe and it's just the way he writes, it's very like, he creates such like a clear image yeah. of like the culture, the realism and surrealism that he writes with and how he sort of intersects and presents those in a way so that he can create, you know, this really clear image of Australian culture. Yeah, that was what really attracted me to the book. It was part of a journey that I'd been on in my early teaching careers in Anala, which that community, as I said, I loved. I, I was really sad to leave out of that school community, mm -hmm. uh, but it was also, he hooked me because of the imagery that he that he um, cast within that book um, and you just highlighted that was you know some of the experiences and yes they're out <laughs> you know some of what he'd been through and his, and his story advice we've got all of our year 11s and, and 10s out there 11s <laughs> that, are, that are starting yeah. on this experience what, what's the advice that you give out there to our quacky community actually choose something that you like yeah because it is mm -hmm. such a long like journey yeah and if you really hate your topic then it's so difficult to yeah do. Okay. whereas i really enjoyed my book so yeah. writing about it was a lot easier mm. that's a get so, help from yeah, your okay. friends yeah, and yeah, right i know yasmin proofread so that really <laughs> most of collaborative time. approach yeah well, you know, like I mean, utilizing what's around like you we're, yeah we're at a school that people can help you. i would say um you have time when I first received the assignment, I was so overwhelmed. I was like, oh my goodness, 4,000 words. I don't even know where to start. Mm. But you really do have enough time to spend as much time as you want on each individual part of the yeah, research okay. process. So it's okay if you have to change your research questions, research question five times before you start writing because you have the time to work it through. I honestly spent months trying to get my research question down to exactly what I wanted because I would pick one and then it would be too broad or it would be too specific. So um, Miss Song really helped me. She sat down with me. We figured out what key terms were best to put into specific search engines and what articles I could use that were going to be helpful and what studies were a little bit outdated yeah. and yeah. she just helped me really understand which information was going to help answer my question. I had to change my research question a few times just okay. because like I started with like how Italian migration was portrayed in The Godfather and just like I couldn't find the evidence to back it up so we kind of shifted the question a bit just so I could like like stay precise on what I need to do. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I've really enjoyed engaging today through the principal blog. You know, by you just talking those through, I'm actually starting to go, oh, I'd love to read that. <laughs> that I'd love to read, you know, and, and just see where you got up to in that research and your mm. findings. Be really proud of being your own boss, 
<laughs> and taking that journey and really exploring um, through that and, and getting to that end point and hand, handing it in. I'm sure that this weekend you'll see him have a bit of a rest. Yeah. I'm going to have to look at it. <laughs> Great. Thanks very much. Thank you.